So for number 24, we have to um, draw these curves, right? And then find the area between them. So let's begin by drawing cosine of x. Um, and let's see, they want it between 0 and pi. So we'll just draw the positive side. And that is pi over 2. And that is pi. So if we draw cosine of x, we are just going to go, we begin at 1, we begin at 1, um, and then at pi over 0, we go to 0, and then at pi, we go to negative 1. So this is our curve, y is equal to the cosine of x. And now we need 1 minus cosine of x. So 1 minus cosine of x is the cosine, uh, is the cosine function that has been flipped upside down um, because it was reflected across the x-axis. So instead of starting at its peak, it will st start at its valley. But then it has been shifted upwards by 1. So let's just... Um, Extend this a little bit because now instead of going from minus 1 to 1, it will go from 0 to, to 2. And in case you this seems confusing, I encourage you to review some of the graphic transformations. So we begin at 0 because that is the lowest point after it's been flipped around and shifted by 1. Um, at pi over 2, we'll go to 1. And at pi will be at the highest point, which is the highest point, which is, um, which is two. Yeah. So it'll look something like this. Uh, so let's see how we can do. So it'll go here. And then from here onwards, it'll go something like this. Yes. And that ends at this point. Two. So that is two. This is one. And that is Zero, yeah, and this is y is equal to one minus cosine. Um, yes, minus cosine of x. Okay, so we do want to find the area uh, between these curves, right? Um, and let's see, one minus cosine of x. So what I think that they're asking is between they want this which is the area between the curves, and they want this area as well. So we can see that we are going to um, break it down into two different integrals. Um, even though technically it's not, uh, it's not enclosed, we can interpret it as such because it says from including 0 and including pi. Um, so we are going to have to split this up into two integrals because over here in the first part, the upper function is the green function. And then over here, the upper function is the purple function. So to split these up, we do have to find where they are equal to each other. So let's just set these equations equal to each other. So we have that cosine of x is equal to 1 minus cosine of x. So let's bring the cosine to the other side. Um, so we have here 2 cosine of x is equal to 1, and therefore cosine of x is equal to 1 half. Now this is true when x is... Um, this is true when x is equal to pi over 3, and it is also true when x is equal to 5 pi over 3. However, 5 pi over 3 is um, outside of our domain here in this drawing, so we won't consider it. Um, all right, now it's time to set up our integrals. So we will first set up the, the one that goes from 0 to pi over 3, 0 to pi over 3, uh, the upper function is the green function, so that is cosine x minus 
minus the lower function. The lower function is 1 minus cosine x. So be very careful with the sign, right? Because it goes minus 1 minus minus cosine of x. So plus cosine of x and then all this times dx, um, which is equal to the integral from 0 to pi over 3 of 2 cosine x minus 1 and then dx. Okay, that is our first integral. What about our second integral? Now we go from pi over 3, that is the lowest boundary, right? Because they do, um, they do intersect at this point over here, which is pi over 3. So in this integral, we go from pi over 3 all the way to pi, which is where our drawing ends. And then the upper function is 1 minus cosine of x, and then minus the lower, so minus cosine of x, and then all of this times dx, dx, yeah. So if we clean this up a little bit, this is the integral from pi over 3 to pi of 1 minus 2 cosine x, and then times dx. Um, so let us let us integrate these and actually i'll i'll erase the the previous parts just so that we have space to work it because these are our two integrals right so let's integrate these um this first one it is two times the cosine of x is sine of x so this is just two sine of x and the integral of one is just x minus x from zero to pi over three which gives us um, sine of pi over 3 is root 3 over 2. So we have 2 times root 3 over 2 uh, minus pi over 3. And then when we put the lower boundary, sine of 0 is just 0 and minus 0 is just 0. So we don't worry about this. So this is equal to root 3 minus pi over 3. Okay. So let us look at the um, at the second integral. Then when we integrate this, this is just x minus 2 times, the integral of cosine is just sine, 2 sine x, evaluated from pi over 3 to pi. So this is equal to, uh, when we plug in the upper boundary, this is just pi minus um, 2 sine of pi is 0 right, because sine of pi is just 0, so minus 0, and then let's put in the lower boundary, so minus pi over 3, and then minus minus is, is plus, plus 2 times sine of pi over 3, so 2 times root 3 over 2, which is equal to, let's see, pi minus pi over 3, right, so pi minus pi over 3 is 2 pi over 3. Um, 2 pi over 3 plus this is plus root 3 because the 2s cancel out. All right, so once we have this, let's just sum up the results together. So the area is equal to the first integral, right? The first integral was here. So that is root 3 minus pi over 3, and then plus the second integral, plus oh, this stuff, plus um, root 3 plus 2 pi over 3. So the total um, is 2 root 3 minus pi over 3 plus 2 pi over 3 is just plus pi over 3. So this 2, two root 3 plus pi over 3 is the answer um, to the area that's between these two curves, which we had to break it down into two different integrals.